right there. Oh, so, right. yeah. I'm not joking, though. I'm not. I've done so much free work for all of those organizations. Yeah. That's, that's why I guess I was like, sure, go ahead and use it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn right. You're guess I was all right, so I got much. a picture up for you. All right, fantastic. All right, so this is looking good, AJ. All right, well, let's get some bodies and uh, <laughs> pictures. You want to, uh, <laughs> I'll go, uh, I'll play. Of, uh, like size. Where's That's not me. I'm, I'm right here. here. Oh, it's it's so it's it's yeah, appreciate it. All right, so uh, we're getting the first frame set up. Uh, and then as you already got the frame, you need the bartender stuff. Fantastic. All right, great. So we'll, uh, I'll hook you up with our line producer. You'll keep the images and everything once I get the frame set up. Okay. So, cool. uh, just hang out. Uh, I think we have maybe some, some water, some snacks, or maybe one of them. All right. Otherwise, we're good to go. Okay, thank you. Who's, uh, who's our bartender? Uh, he actually just made it. Are you going to drink this? Oh, Schlager. <laughs> Why can't it be both? Uh, Where do you think this all came from? <laughs> <laughs> now you're on my end. Where are you? It's one point. Yeah, I don't ah, bullet rye will work. You never crossed the bar, Jess. No, our actual bartender here. Okay, cool. Maker's Mark Manhattan, um, so sir. Uh, candy hammer, Chris. Why not? <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm not <that> real. <laughs> Sir, we've been closed for hours. All right, let's switch, because I am a bartender. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this works for me, guys. <laughs> no, a cow that's made yeah, of vegetables. Uh, <laughs> yes, of course. So you know you harvest vegan leather from that. Understand. Yeah. That's the way we get veggie burgers from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bessie. She's 80% cauliflower. <laughs> <laughs> so it's flour filler. Right. <laughs> She's not any stupider than your average cow. <laughs> <laughs> So let me grab my bind, uh, binder so I can follow along with the script. Mm -hmm. And I'll also look. Do you need it wet? No, no. no. Okay. I'm going to do this stupid movie's towel over the shoulder bartender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one's ratty. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Perfect. That's right. that's right. No, no, that works. Did the bar tell Jesus would use? And that Indiana yeah. Jones would have to find like, yeah, a room full exactly. of bar towels? And he's like, uh... You chose wisely? <laughs> <laughs> this is the bar towel of a carpenter. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let's see here. All right, so for I'll need you to scoot a little bit to your right. You know, right. I keep finding hilarious and, things. Uh, like as well, a little bit to your right, please. In the making of this movie. All We're right. making a movie about an atheist. Yet I am a minister and a carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> People following you for not very good reason. Exactly. So, <laughs> okay. So. I just want to spread the love. Okay. All right. So, all right. That looks good as far as the actual framing. So, the, again, a lot of what our point of what we're doing here is is those specific like Renaissance painting looks. So, we have this set up very specifically to look like a painting. Mm -hmm. And so, so when you'll when when you'll come into your point, you'll hit here, and you'll do a lot of this. Because this very the, the, the very rem, uh, reminiscent of like a Last Supper kind of look is where we have okay. this. Okay. So you'll land around right there, and you'll you'll, you'll kind of you'll hit some of these notes with, with like gesturing wise, and then we'll, uh, from there, then you guys will be you'll be turning a little bit, but then you'll be talking with your hands like this, you know. So like that frame right there. So Chris, if you do this. <laughs> Like that frame right there. Nice. This is extremely uh, Renaissance painting, is what this is right here. So to be very, very stupidly artistic for no good reason. That's that's why we have that. But anyway, all right. So uh, we're starting with the second of the two scenes of the bar, which I believe is 36. Yes. So what we'll do is we'll have this one start from this frame. We'll have both you guys get into these chairs. So because he recognizes you and sees you get in. So yeah, turn them like this. So Nick, uh, for the frame, I can't see you over there. Okay, I don't have the beam hole up, but I was gonna check when uh, when you've gone through this. Okay, sure, yeah. Okay, so let's uh, all right, let's let's uh, uh, walk through it. Let's go action. There he is. Hey, don't feel him, man. 
thought I was, but no, I'm not so sure. That reminds me, uh, Man Vic would uh, like you to sign this before we serve. So you're going to so get a good drunk again? Man, you got to drink, don't we? Well, slow down there. We're going to we're gonna hold tight. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that, yeah those will be the... <laughs> Chuck in his face. <laughs> so, so yeah, you, you, uh, you, you, you grab it, you drink it, and then that's probably where we're going to cut. Initially from this wine, because what happens there is you go, ah, this is even worse, and then we need to get that, you know, the close up of the actual what the label is, and then we'll pick up. Uh, okay, so we'll we'll say that we've done that then, so we'll pick up right after that. Okay. So we'll go ahead and pick up right after that. Right after. So, uh, so you just drank it and okay. spoiled for how bad it was. Oh, that was worse than I remember. Ready to run a rehearsal again? Yeah. Yeah. That's yep. it. All right, and rehearsal action. There he is. Hey, hope you're feeling better. Thought I was, but now I'm not so sure. Oh, uh, that reminds me, uh, management would uh, like you to sign this before we serve you. What is that? Oh, uh, it's, it's just a thing, just some legal thing. Now, what can I get you? I need another one of those beers like you gave me last time. Well, you, so you're gonna get drunk again, man? We do, we do like to get drunk, don't we? All right, so Chris, well, during, during that, the beer will be somewhere over here, so okay. that way, because I can, you know, give him a little beer, like a you know, nod, head over and mm -hmm. get, grab it. So that gives him some time to say his line. Yeah. Have it already open and kind of hidden away down there, so that way it gives you a chance to uh, like duck down, take a good beat. Yeah, to duck down for a beat and grab it, because the idea is, is you put it right on the table, and before it even really let go, he grabs it from you and starts putting it. Okay. Because again, he can't see what the label is because the label label gag comes after. Mm. So, hey, uh, should he mime popping the top on it? Yeah, filming? yeah. Come up when you grab it, mime like you're popping the top off. Okay. That's I mean, typically wouldn't be open. Would you? That'd be a really stale ass beer. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Hellschlager. I don't know. How <laughs> there he is. Hey, uh, hope you feeling better. Well, I thought I was, but. I'm not so sure. Turn out a little more, Dave. What's up? Turn out a little more. Yep, got you, boss. Get it set up. Oh, uh, that reminds me. Uh, management would best give you order. I can assign this before we serve you. Wait, what is that? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a thing. Just some legal thing. Now, what can I get you? Um, I need another one of those beers that you gave me the last time. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna get drunk again? Man, we do like to drink, don't we? Oh, slow down there, buddy. Come on, night. <laughs> oh, that's worse than I remember. Wait, what is this? Sorry, man. Scene 36A, take three. Oh. Patrick set. AJ is set. All right. And again, same energy, everything's great, and action. Sorry, man. Who supplies your beer, anyway? I don't, I don't, I don't I know about that. that. Are you okay, Dave? Oh, I'm good, man. I know that was... No, yeah, that... That's pretty good, actually. I think, I think that looked good. Did it sell? I think that the, the napkins could have gone a little higher. We can do it again. I can toss it, it, a little it, higher. It caught, it, it caught on there. Yeah, I can, uh, I can toss can a little higher. One more time? All right. And so, uh, Christopher, one last note. I was just thinking, don't notice him until he says, I need a drink. Okay. okay. So you're looking right at Farad because he's the one that's called you over. Said, "Hey, hey, Gabe." So you're coming over straight to him. Wait for him to say, "I need a drink," and then turn and see him, and that's when you recognize him. Okay. Okay. All wait, right. Uh, and oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So uh, I thought Rick was calling. I was calling Gabe over. No, you do, but it's it's. Yeah. Well, we're changing it, I guess. Wait, is it Rick that calls him over? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. You know what? Let's. Uh... Yeah, let's let's have let's it, it will be. We're gonna change that. We'll do that change. We'll just cut that last sentence of the line. No, I want, I want I want him to change it. I want him to change it. So yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, let's let's do that. Let's actually have Farad you do that. Let's have you uh, say, "Hey, Gabe." Okay. 
That'll be an on act action, say, hey, Gabe. Gotcha. All right, so we're rolling. Rolling, rolling. Good. And, Chris, have you stepped out of, okay, and, all right, action. Hey, Gabe. Yeah. I need another drink. Oh. Hey, I recognize you. Oh, God. You're, uh, you're that uh, atheist guy from the web. Atheist of the year. He just won an award. I didn't even know that was a thing. Me neither. Can I just get a drink, please? Something really strong. I don't know this one. Well, since we are in the presence of such a well-known yeah, atheist... Can I pull line up again? Well, since we are in the presence of such a uh, well-known atheist, uh, I think you should... I think it'd be pretty fun for you to try some of this. It's, uh, it's from our microbrewery. You've lost that lager feeling? <laughs> no. Under proof. Oh, I'm still hunting a tire on this? Yes. Oh, fun. Yes. Wait <laughs> till you see this costume, man. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> Something's up. Okay. Yeah. Are you busy, man? Nope. Do me a favor. Mm -hmm. My car's in the uh, the parking garage down on the first floor. Mm -hmm. In the back, there's a brown coat. Could you go get it for me? Parking garage, first floor. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, no problem. This sir is how much I love you. <laughs> I was going to say, I thought like, uh, uh, I thought you were warm. Just for the effect. Oh. Get into character. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that when you teleport here, you're going to be in like, okay. Yeah. Hunting the most dangerous. I'll be damned if I was going to buy a camo jacket, too. <laughs> Hunting the most dangerous animal. Quail. <laughs> Quail. <laughs> See, so you know. They're fucking delicious. <laughs> you okay. See so we, we here? got to cover him on all his first half of the conversation, yeah. and then we just get his second gotcha. half of the conversation. We just do it all from right here. And for the, and just flip um, it around. For the 180, which side do we be on? Be on this side. Which one do you prefer? This way. You want to be that way? Okay, sweet. Because I, I don't want to catch anything. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Over there. So that way, got a little bit of chairs. We can be a little bit. We can be a little bit kind of right on. We don't come really too much on. So. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, it's going to get one head, and then I can just flip perfect. it around perfect. and make it work. Actually, I'm actually maybe okay. I brought the LEDs, so we can just use those. Hey, Brad, do yeah. you look like Alfred Hitchcock when he gets the light against you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> Walk into my suit lift. <laughs> We're saying it was like, oh, maybe to a high degree we can do like Godfather lighting. I don't know if you could happen there. Cause <laughs> the darker scene at a bar, and I was just like, oh, maybe, maybe we are kind of doing that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this camera I, picks up I, so I, much light. Well, I'm so curious yeah. how this yeah. looks. Yeah, I love to see how this looks. I'm interested to show you guys. <laughs> oh, good. We're interested that you're interested. Well, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, you know what? That does remind. There was one line. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking maybe uh, might be a little bit. Where's the cat line? Uh, you know, we get. Uh, Videos of cats playing with yarn, or videos of people reacting to videos of cats playing with yarn. Or, 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 or super cuts of people reacting to videos of people reacting to videos of cats playing with yarn at hip hop music. You know, with hip hop music. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah that, yeah. This Anything you do, yeah, make that funnier because that, that is that's kind of like where that seemed to be going. It's uh, just the, the, it just keeps. Yeah, going. by like hip hop music would be like the top. And then the, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's the that's the thing that nails it in. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Rick. Every year, we award the coveted Atheist of the Year Award to someone who has done outstanding work in the field of demeaning those with something to believe in. Well, I've heard of it. It's something any man should covet. Or, it's something I would... Uh, it's just clumsy in my mouth, I'm sorry. Well, I've heard of it. And it's something I would really want. Maybe even covet. I mean, that is if I didn't find titles to be overrated. I mean, ever since somebody 
name Jesus the King of Kings, it's just paved the way for more unearned recognition. Well, usually we're guilt into giving the award to Christopher Hitchens. You will give that man the award! I didn't start a letter-writing campaign with my viewers for nothing. Death does not mean that you're no longer an atheist. That great man's corpse only goes to prove that zombie Jesus was a lie. <laughs> it seemed that your fans switched their efforts into getting 24 hours of a Christmas story changed to 24 hours of a holiday story. You know, it's a Red Rider BB gun with a compass and a stock and a thing that tells time. Not a Red Rider BB gun with a compass and a stock and a thing that tells time with Jesus. Right. Well, usually we are guilted into giving the award to Christopher Hitchens. You will give that man that award. I did not start a letter writing campaign with my fans for nothing. Death does not make you any less of an atheist. That great man's cold, dead corpse proves that there could be no such thing as a resurrection. Yeah, do that, do that same line a little angrier, a little more frustrated. Okay. And then you know, get, maybe give him the last of that uh, holiday story uh, line if you feed him in, please. Oh, oh, the last one, sorry. Yeah. Um, it seemed your fans switched their efforts into getting 24 hours of a Christmas story and changed to 24 hours of a holiday story. Well, it is a BB gun. Fuck. Well, it is a Red Rider BB gun with a compass and stock and that thing that tells time. Not a Red Rider BB gun with a compass and stock in Jesus. Rick. I mean, how many times can you watch that movie in a day anyway? Rick! What? This year, we've decided to give the award to someone else. Someone who is very influential. He has a huge online following. We're giving it to you! Me? Yes. Your intolerant and condescending B-logs as the Rickhead are exactly what the online audience loves. There is no one more deserving. Congratulations. Aw, thank you. Well, <laughs> that's, that's, I think that's good. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Was it really genuine? Is it early stuff or no? Uh, I don't think we need any other early stuff. Uh, I, think, I think we got it. Yeah, you need? I think I got what I, I really think I got what I need. Sweet. All right, let's cut it.